You know, I thought that if I ever said that, I'd feel this enormous relief. And? And I don't. I just feel confused and a little frightened. We'll get past that. Can't deal with a situation like this in five minutes. Mm, look at that. Fisherman's coming on late. Oh. These lights on the water make it very magical looking. Mm. You take a tree down yet? Mm, weeks ago. Mine's still up. Start taking the ornaments off, Brady threw a fit. How do you reason with a kid that age anyways? <laughs> he just doesn't want the magic of Christmas to end, I guess. Still wearing the charm bracelet I gave you. Yes, I am. I love it. It's my... Favorite piece of jewelry. You know, I must have looked at this watch for over a hundred hours. I'm so glad I was there when you needed me. You saved my life, you know. I don't know why you saved mine, too. And when Isabella died, I was just going through the motions. But she knew that's what I was going to do. But she also knew that something rare and indestructible existed between us. That's why she wanted you to look after me. Doc, losing her taught me how fragile life is. How something you love so dearly can be taken away from you so quickly. So if you feel something, you have to say it while you still have the time. See, see now I know I was just putting myself off from people. But being around you just taught me how wrong I really was. You would have learned that lesson. I know how much you miss her. Oh, I do miss her. I do. I'm still mourning her, I'm sure. I don't know. Maybe it's... Maybe I just need to connect with somebody. Maybe I... That somebody has to be someone that I feel comfortable with, that I feel, I feel safe with. Because when we were in that warehouse together, I realized that my life must go on. It will go on. Oh, God. I tell you, when we were down there and those bulldozers were closing in on me, a million things must have gone through my mind. Oh, we're gonna get out of here. We can get out of here. There's gotta be some way. And then just like that, it happened. What happened? I looked at you. And you were smiling, trying to cover the fear. But when I glanced down at your hands, they were in a tight little clench. You always made a tight little clench when you were afraid of something. No, in, in that instant, that little gesture brought back so many memories that I had to lock away. Memories that you and I shared. Isn't that amazing? Something so small can bring back something so powerful. And it happened. And at that moment, I knew that I would rather die than ever let anything happen to you because I still loved you that oh, much. God. I, I'm sorry. Look, I don't, I don't mean to get emotional here, but sometimes it's easier to explain these emotions than control them. We can't keep talking about this. We can't keep... 
reliving these memories. We're going to be in very bad trouble. We'll be out of control. I don't know how many times I thought about that night you came back here on that pier to me. That was ages ago. It's just like tonight. Maybe a little more mist in the air, but the river smelled the same. I didn't have any idea what I was looking for that night. And I found you. I can still remember the moment that I turned around and I saw you standing there. <laughs> it was like I was looking at a vision. I couldn't believe you were real. In fact, I had to touch you. Just to make sure you were real. And in that second time, stopped. With everything else that was going on in my life at that moment, the world just went away. And once again, it was just you. And me. Together once again. like my own family, I'd never do anything to hurt them. But where does it leave us? Nowhere. We can't let the past ruin the future. I am married to Roman. We have a family. And you have... Someday, when you're ready, you'll meet somebody, and you'll fall in love, and she will love you. I'm sorry. I don't get to be her. Well put. But that was coming from a doctor, not a woman. No, that was coming from Roman's wife. Now, what happened here tonight is not going to happen again. We're not coming back to this place. John? If that's the way you want it. That's the way that it is. Well, then I guess we'll just have to walk away. Yes. We'll have to say goodbye first, though, won't we? I'm not afraid of anything. 